2021 was still dominated by COVID-19. While Australia gained the upper hand by hitting vaccination targets, scientists were sounding alarm bells about low rates in developing countries. There's the likelihood of other mutations occurring in communities that aren't fully vaccinated. And so we must do our part to be fully vaccinated, but we must help the rest of the globe get fully vaccinated. By year's end, the Omicron variant only increased the urgency of that call. In the meantime, scientists continue investigations into the original source of the virus. I think it's just a matter of, of sampling more and more animal hosts, bats and other things, to find the close relative to SARS-CoV-2. That could take time, though, so it's not really a simple thing. The other big global challenge remains climate change. We know what the scientists tell us and we have learned not to ignore them. It's one minute to midnight on that doomsday clock and we need to act now. The COP26 climate conference saw more than 100 countries sign a landmark pledge to reduce methane emissions by 30% by 2030. Australia was not one of them, but we did sign a separate agreement to end deforestation by the same date, while also committing to reaching net zero emissions by 2050. 2021 saw 90 eminent scientists call for the immediate pardon and release of Kathleen Folbig from jail. They say new scientific evidence suggests she may not have killed her children. So the science shows that there are possible and likely natural causes of deaths for the two female Folbig children and possibly for the four Folbig children. Folbig remains behind bars. Among those to sign the Folbig petition was Professor John Shine, whose term will soon end as president of the Australian Academy of Science. 2021 saw the election of distinguished professor Chenapati Jagadish. He becomes the first Australian of Indian heritage to take on the role. It doesn't matter how you look and which part of the world you came from, how difficult your life has been. In Australia, the opportunities are abound. And if you work hard and smart, and then you believe in yourself, you can achieve anything in life. And 2021 also brought a milestone for the Academy itself. Its iconic Shine Dome headquarters in Canberra got a new roof. The Shine Dome needed a new roof because it was so severely impacted by quite a freak hailstorm. Rather than removing the existing copper tiles, the dome was covered with a second layer of new copper, along with a layer of waterproof material, increasing energy efficiency. The new look Shine Dome will be officially reopened in 2022. The Australian Academy of Science, because questions need answers.